Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play and I'm Rachel. Okay, so I'd like to show you how to make some blueberry biscuits. Mmm, you heard me. Blueberry biscuits. Okay, so let's try that. Let's see how that works. I'm sure it's going to be absolutely delicious. Can you just imagine biting into, you know when you bite into a biscuit, it reminds you of bread, right? Well, can you imagine biting into it and the juice from those blueberries just gush through your mouth? Oh, mm, I love blueberries. So we're going to give that a try right now. Thumbs up, share the video, share the videos, and subscribe. Hey, you might have company that spend the night over your house the night before Thanksgiving and you got to feed them something, right? Why not some blueberry biscuits? Blueberry biscuits. Okay, let's do it. Thanks. Okay, so I have here four cups of Bisquick Pancake mix four cups of biscuit pan biscuit pancake baking mix okay this is my muffin pan that i'm going to be using as you can see it's pretty large it's the large size okay okay so why don't i sit that there all right so you know, you may not need four cups because maybe you have a small baking pan. Okay, your muffin pan might be half the size, so you can cut down to two cups. Okay? Alright, so the recipe on the box calls for just milk. But I'm going to doctor this up. So I'm going to start with adding some milk. And... You're just going to add a little at a time. That's probably three-fourths of a cup of milk right there. We'll see how this goes. You know, biscuits are very thick, okay? Yep, I'm going to need a lot more milk. Okay. So that's probably maybe a cup. We'll see. We'll see how much more we need. Oh yeah, it's getting uh, a little wet. I still need a little more. So you see how I have some flour here? right here see you want to leave you don't want too much milk so that you can make sure that the moistness that you already have in the biscuits can cover the flour or the um, the baking mix that you have not already wet with milk Okay, I'm going to use my hand at this point. And I'm just gathering up any of the mix that does not is not wet. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty, see how that is, it's not sticky, see? Okay, so that's what we're looking for. Now, I also want to add some extra stuff. This is one-third of a stick of margarine. I just want to add that in to give it some moistness.
and some flavor. Definitely going to bring some flavor. Okay, so I'm, I'm sticky now. So now I have to add some more baking mix to solve the sticky problem. And the stickiness came from when I added the margarine, which I wanted, I want to do. Okay, so let me wash my hands. get some baking mix out. This is a big big box. It was six pounds. Okay. I paid I think like under five dollars at Sam's for this. And so I put it into about six bags because it's better to keep it fresh that way. Okay. So I'm going to get some uh, this quick mix. And what I'm getting now is just a, some enough in my hand to do this. You know, when you put it on, you want to pat it until it's not sticky. Flip it over. Pat it until it's not sticky. I'm done with the milk. That was about, I'd say, a cup and a half of milk. Okay. So now, this is the pint of uh, blueberries that I purchased. So I have three fourths of that pint in this bowl. Okay. Okay. So now I want to. Let me see, I want my pan over here. Okay, so now I'm going to break off. So normally you would, um, and the flour that I have in an excess, the baking mix I have in excess that's just laying up here. If you feel a sticky spot, you just dap it in that mix, that baking mix, okay? Okay, so... Now I'm just going to take, i got a little piece, right? Let me show you again. I didn't show you. Okay, I have a, I have a little piece. And I'm dapping it in this flour, this, this baking mix. I keep saying flour. It's on the top. Okay, and so I'm just smoothing it out so it looks like that, okay? All right, so now I'm going to put this in the bottom of the pan. I'm putting blueberries right in the middle of that. I'm going to actually push those blueberries straight through. Sometimes they leave the stem on the end of the blueberry. Be careful of that. And I'll show you this. So you see what I did? Okay. Now I'm going to put another little piece. Okay, not sticky. On top of that. Now I'm going to push it down on the side. So see what I'm doing? I'm pushing it down on the sides. Oh, and this is margarine that I oiled the inside of the muffin pan before I start it. Okay, so now that's the second piece I put in, right? Get some blueberries. Push it down. I'm going to push it down in there. Okay. 
Okay, this is our second layer, right? Okay, and I'm going to put some biscuit mix on the top. So the sticky, so I'm, I put a little mix on top of the uh, biscuit mix that we already mixed just so I can dip it in there. Okay, so I get another piece. I'm going to put that, make sure it's covering the whole top, side to side. Okay, so I put that on top and pushing my sides down again. Okay, so I'm pushing the sides down so I can get a nice seal, hopefully. Okay? Okay. Alright. And this may stay here and it may, it may roll off because it's going to rise. But I'll put it there anyhow. We'll see what happens. Okay, that's what we're looking at, like. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing that process. I'll do one more to show you. Okay, I'm going to just put it down in the bottom, push down, put the blueberries and push it all the way down, push the blueberries all the way down, because if you don't push it all the way down, when it rises, it's going to try to roll out of position. Okay, I'm going to my second piece now. My second piece. I'm going to put it over there. Pushing the sides down. To, to like seal it. Okay, and I'm pushing in the middle, so I'm making sure I get a good seal there. Okay, and now my blueberries, pushing it down on there. Put it there and push it down. Pushing it right down. Okay? Okay, and my third piece of biscuit right on the top. So I'm just smoothing it over with my hand, pushing the edges underneath. Get some more mix if you need to, if you... Um, Need to make sure it's not sticky. Okay. Here we go. Putting that right on top. Pushing the sides down all the way around. Okay, and I'm pushing the top down. All right, and I'm going to put one right in the center, pushing that all the way down as far as I can, but to the point where you can still see it, though. Okay. So, again, I'm getting a piece, and I'm pushing it all the way around. This is not big enough. I need another little piece to go with it. Okay. I'm dipping it into the mix on the top. Okay. It's nice and smooth. See that? 
Okay, now we're going to just put it in. The blueberries, and we're going to push down. Okay, now I'm getting the second one. I'm going to put on it, same process. I'm making sure my edges get pushed down to seal the edges, all the edges. Just keep pushing down all the way around. If your hand gets dry, get some mix and put on it. Okay, now, same thing we did before, we already put our second layer in a Bisquick mix. Okay, and I'm going to just push it down, okay, I'm going to get one more piece. Okay, and I'm going to put it on the top, same process, I'm pushing the sides down so I can get that seal, pushing the top down, and I'm going to put one right there in the middle, push that down, down, down. Okay, so that's what we're looking like. I'll finish the rest and then I'll come back to you. Thank you. Okay, guys, that's what we're looking like. So the uh, box said to cook the biscuits on 425. Nope, sorry, it said 450. I'm going to cook it on 425. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put this in the oven on 425, and we'll come back when they're done. And I'll be back to give you the word of the day. Thanks. The word of the day. The word of the day is help. Help. Help is on the way. It may come in the mail. It may come in an extra payment. It may come when the kids clean up behind themselves. It may come when the family help you and do the dishes. It may even come from you. Even you can help yourself. Help is on the way. Now that's the word of the day. Help. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, guys. Our blueberry biscuits are out. Look at that. How about that, huh? You like that? I love it. So cute. Okay, so I'm going to rub some margarine on the top so that when you bite into it, you get that buttery flavor. And then I'm going to taste it for you. Okay? One second. Okay, guys. Look at that. Oh my goodness, will you look at that. Isn't that cute? It looks like a bagel, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cut it in half so that you can see the middle. That's the middle. How about that? Blueberry biscuit. Ooh, stop it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, and let me taste for you. 
Okay, look at that. Oh, love it. Here goes. Mmm. Mm. Wow. The margarine brought some nice moistness to the biscuit. I am definitely going to have this in a few minutes with some molasses and syrup. That's what I like my biscuits with. Oh, you've got to try this. This is a home run. Huh? Who wouldn't want to wake up to one of these? Nice, right? Oh, you know we did um, the biscuit mix on the bottom. A layer of blueberries, biscuit mix, a layer of blueberries, biscuit mix, and a blueberry in the middle. Oh, home run guys, home run. Share, share, share this video. You're not going to see that nowhere else, but right here on Grandma Ray Don't Play. Love you, love you. Share the video, subscribe, check out my links below. If you'd like to support this channel in any way, I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.